This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today we're here with the Hummingbird Solix and I've got uh, a common question that comes up is how do I change my route or how do I change my track color and I'm gonna, we're going to jump in here and I'm going to show you how I change it and how I use tracks in my tournament fishing. Um, I've got some samples here we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to change so we're going to jump in here and show you how to get more, do more from your Hummingbird Solix units. If you look here on the Solix, I've got several routes and they're all the same color. And the other thing is, is they're very fine. Um, what you need to do is come in here with your cursor and the easiest way is you need to come to a start or stop point of a route. We're going to jump over here and you'll see this menu and you'll see the style. First thing I want to do is I want to come down to the bottom which that's going to make it a wider band. And then we're going to change our track color and this is simple and easy. I'm going to just choose purple there and that changed that route. Now we're going to zoom in here and you can see it made that one route purple. Uh, we'll come down here. Here's another start stop point. Just move your cursor there. Going to select on it. Change our style. Change it down here. If you want to change whatever style you want. But this makes it a little simpler and easier to um, understand and see the differences in your routes. And you see that one changed to yellow come back up here we'll zoom in a little bit this was actually a tournament that I fished um, and I can see that one right there click on it and what I do is change these every day that one's already been changed that one was actually the yellow one um, so we'll come over here this uh, you can see take off and spend a lot of time right there loading and unloading these are actually the routes up on land where uh, I was staying but uh, we can go flip our color we'll throw on green we'll throw here and that makes it simple to change your routes to your the different colors you're fishing and now we've seen green and we forgot to change it. Yep, nope, we got our style. We've got our different colors there. Um, click out of that one. Zoom in here a little bit more. The more you zoom in, the more spots you're going to find. So we'll jump in here. This one right here is 164 miles. Uh, we'll throw it as a blue color there. Throw it in wide. And you can see that we're changing. There's our different colors on that one. Here's one over here. You can jump over here. Hit it. Style. Boom. Boom. Ain't this simple and easy? Uh, we'll throw it as orange and click out of it and that's our different colors of our different tracks and routes and you can see then we're able to see different colors for different days I uh, probably started with that other red one but uh, when I go to a tournament I try to I try to use different colors for different days and it makes it a lot easier I know these are down here on the Red River and you can see the different colors as I, you run out of that oxbow you can see where you've been on the different colors. I hope that uh, made it a little simpler and easier how to, how to change colors and routes. I hope that helps you learn how simple and easy it is to change the style and the color of your tracks based on your needs. If you need different different colors for different situations, uh, could be patterns, springtime, fall time, uh, or navigational routes, 
the other thing is, is as a tournament fisherman I like to change my colors based on each day that I'm there. The, each day of practice I try to change the colors that way I know the days that, are, I, that I had a good day or a bad day or there were practice days versus tournament days where I fished and places I hadn't fished because sometimes you catch catch the limit that you need and you're wanting to go explore new places and expand your practice um, I can use those colors of route to know where I've been and where I haven't been quickly simply and easily it's just another thing that you get to get more and do more with your hummingbird fish finder check it out thank you for watching um, I will show the helix owners here pretty soon the same thing that you can do on them thank you and tune in next time